Hello, it's Technology Central here, and welcome to this fourth video in our six-part series on how to use Google Slides. In this episode, we're looking at using media in your slides. That means we're going to be inserting images, videos, and audio into our presentation. Let's start by adding an image. We've already seen this once when we were working with master slides, but to do it, we come to insert, choose image, and then either upload from computer, search the web, use it from Google Drive, photo Google Photos from the URL, or using your camera. I'm going to insert an image from Google Drive. Here is our logo. Click on it, and it's now inserted into our presentation. We can now come to Format Options to format our image. You can resize using these drag and drop boxes in the corners and centers of the image, or you can resize to a specific width and height using the options here. Clicking lock aspect ratio will mean that your image doesn't get distorted when you resize it. You can also rotate your image by a given angle, like so, by 90 degrees, or flip it as so. I'm going to reset this. You can also reposition your image either by dragging and dropping or using the position options here. You can recolor your image as so, using one of these presets. For example, if we wanted to go for a different shade of blue, we can do so like that. There are other adjustments you can make, such as increasing the transparency. So if I make that very high and put it over the top of our logo, you can see our logo through the image now. Let's drop that back down. We can make the image brighter or darker like so. And you can increase the contrast of the image or similarly decrease the contrast. We can reset that back to how it was. You can also apply shadowing. You can choose the colour of your drop shadow. For us, I think a dark blue would be appropriate. You can choose the transparency, the angle, and the size of your shadow. For example, we might want our shadow around there. You can also change the blur radius of your shadow to make it smoother around the edges. Finally, you can add a reflection of your image if you choose. And again, you can alter the transparency, distance and size of that reflection. As so. You can also apply borders to your image. You can do that by coming across to here and picking a border weight, such as 16 here. You can then choose the border color to be, say, this dark blue, and pick the style, for example, dotted, like so. Finally, you can crop your image by coming to the crop image option and then adjusting like so to select the part of the image you want to keep. I think that's fine for our image. We're going to delete that and replace it with a video. To insert a video, come to insert, video. You can either insert a video from YouTube, from a URL to another website, or from Google Drive. I'm going to insert our video from YouTube on why you should be using a password manager. I'd recommend watching it after this video if you haven't already. Simply type in the URL to the YouTube video, or search for it, find the video and then select it. Click select to insert the video. That video has now been inserted into our presentation. We can apply borders 
in the same way as we did for images. We also have some different playback options. We can choose the start and end time of our video by changing these parameters here. For example, if I want to start at one minute, I can do that. We can also choose to autoplay when we present. This means our video will start playing when we start this slide. And finally, we can mute the audio from our video if we don't want to be playing the audio during our presentation by clicking here. I'm going to delete this video. And finally, we're going to look at using audio in our presentation. To do that, come to Insert, come down to Audio, and again, you can use from Google Drive or other audio that has been shared with you. I'm going to use this one from our Google Drive and click Select. We can now see we've got an audio playback option here with our audio. You can adjust the volume of your audio during the presentation, like so. You can make the audio play when you click on it or automatically in your presentation. You can hide the icon for your audio during the presentation by clicking here. You can only do this if you're playing the audio automatically. If you're using on click, you need to be able to see the icon to click on it to start the audio. So this option won't be available. You can have loop audio, which means your audio will restart from the beginning once it's finished playing until you stop it. And finally, you can stop the audio on slide change. This means your audio will stop when you change the slide. If you uncheck that box, then your audio will continue throughout the presentation. That's everything I wanted to show you in this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like, subscribe and leave us a comment. And also check out the other videos in this series. There'll be a link to them in the description. But for now, thanks for watching and goodbye.